Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I just want to make a little video and talk about kind of like the pros and cons when it comes to uh, like staking your cryptocurrency. And, you know, of course, there's different variables like which platform you're using or uh, whatever the case may be. Personally, I like to use KuCoin just because I just I really like KuCoin. You know, I started using KuCoin back in January, about midway through January, through about um, two grand, 2700 bucks into it. And yeah, you guys can see why I love KuCoin because it's been so great to me you know I've found such great opportunity on there anyways you know we've talked enough about that so I would say we'll go ahead and start with the um, start with the bad you know we'll go ahead and start with the bad when I on on um, pull X so I would say the bad is well, number one is if, if the coin's not soft stakeable, if you have to actually like stake that coin, some coins have a set time frame. Like for example, on PLU, I staked um, 50 coins and it was a 90 day lockup period, which means I have to leave those coins locked up for that, 90, that entire 90 days. And I'm actually not sure if I can cancel that, but if you can, I know that there is quite a large fee to where it would actually um, cost you probably more to unstake it than you've actually even gained while staking it. Um, don't quote me on that. But the uh, another down aspect of staking your coins is whenever you have to hard stake them like that, like when you, you have a lockup period or you actually have to go in and like manually lock those coins, there is a transition period. Now it varies per coin. Um, I, I think the coins um, project teams themselves maybe set that uh, delay because I know some coins it's like one day and then I've seen other coins where it's three days before you can get your coins. So that means after you decide to unstake that coin, say maybe the coin goes up in value or you decide that maybe there's a better opportunity or whatever the case may be, you just go ahead uh, and unstake that coin and if that coin say goes right up and then you unstake it and then takes you three days to get it and by the by that third day the coins already way down well you missed your sell window or whatever the case may be so um, staking is truly only if you plan on holding the coin long term in my opinion so um, I would say that's one definitely the con is the lack of access to your coin once you actually stake it now this is not a problem with soft staking because it's very, very simple. You just do it as it comes and goes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's that's the other downside. There's really not that many downsides that I'm fully aware of right now. I've, I haven't had any bad experiences um, using the pool X or staking any of my coins. As a matter of fact, I mean, maybe I'm just extremely lucky. I don't know. But every single coin that I've staked, not only has it been a good experience, it's actually been a great experience um, because all the coins have went up not only um, you know, in the amount of coins that I'm getting as interest, <clears throat> but I'm actually gaining capital appreciation on top of that. Some of these coins I'm up by hundreds of percents, plus I'm getting free payouts on a daily basis. I mean, that's it's just absolutely incredible. So... Um, you know that so I guess we're into the pros now because there, there's just not that many cons Okay, I'll just be completely honest in my experience now I guess however if you were to say buy a coin at the wrong time um, You could be stuck holding that position for a little bit longer But in my opinion if you're literally looking at this as long term I think all coins are pretty much gonna go up from where they are right now aside from the the, the scams which will come out you know and unfortunately that is part of the game you know some of these coins are gonna flop but the thing is is if you have just like ha even half of your portfolio is winners you're gonna win and that's just the name of the game um, you know so you know that's the pro um, another pro is you know a lot of people when, when whenever I'm like the last video whenever I was talking about these coins I was talking about how much like dollar value I'm gaining per day right now but see that's not actually the key part because see that's just today we go ahead and throw the capital appreciation into the into the factor and some of these coins even though they're paying me only a small amount right now like say like uh, like idea idea right now is paying me like five, four dollars five dollars a day roughly okay 
which is 14 idea per day, okay? So even though 14 idea right now is only like $5, who's to say that in the future that same 14 idea isn't worth $100 a day, $20 a day, $50 at any amount, you know what I mean? Based on my calculations, I think it could be a couple hundred a day in the future. Um, so that's really like the, another another pro is you can gain that capital appreciation at the same time as you're actually gaining more coins. So you're actually increasing your position while increasing your wealth. It's absolutely incredible. I think real estate has is pretty much dead right now. You would not I like I was I was actually thinking about that. You know, I got all this money now and I was thinking I was like, man, I should get into real estate. Dude. And I'm like looking at my pool X account and I'm like, wait a minute. Why would I even get into why would I get into real estate right now? I'm literally like on on my Hydra right now. I'm generating the amount of revenue off of Hydra at a yearly rate, if it stays at its current price without compounding it, which it does compound, okay, so we just go ahead and say it stays about the same, right? Um, it would take a $90,000 home to, to make the amount of money that I'm making on a passive income through Hydra. Like, that's incredible. And how much is a $90,000 home going to appreciate in value? 20, 30%? I don't see it going up 100, 200, 300 percent, and I I fully expect these coins to continue to grow. So that's, you know, it's massive, guys. If you really want to look at the long term, I would say definitely look at some of the stakeable coins. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm just finding out that UBX is stakeable. Now, UBX is my larger position. And apparently they give 0.1% per day. 0.1% per day. Like, you say that and that makes my head explode. Because I have a ton of coins. You know, I have like 55 million coins. So it would be 0.1% of that. On a daily basis. It's a lot. That is. That is a lot. I think that would be. Uh, what like 55,000 coins a day. Or I don't know. I'm not. I, I didn't actually do the math. I'm just estimating. It would be a lot of coins. Every single day. That would be. You know. So. Anyways. That's just the types of thing. That's the pros. Like. Like the, the cons. The cons are. In summary. Stella, you're making this very difficult. She, she's she's trying to... You see her? Y'all see this, right? Come on. Come on, chill out. Okay. Anyways, the cons are you don't have access to your coins immediately if you decide you want to sell those coins. Um, the coin could go down in value, um, thereby, you know, causing you to, you know, actually lose money. Now, if... Like I said, this goes back to the end, you know, that's only if you sell it. If you hold it long term, you know, then boom. I guess one of the, another con could be if the company does, you know, say doesn't, it, it doesn't perform and it ends up just going kind of under, well, you know, part of the game. So anyways, and the pros are just too many to list and I'd say it's a great time to be alive, great time to be investing and great time to be in the market, man, honestly. Um, I'm staying away from stocks. I'm staying away from everything else right now. Right now, I'm just focusing completely on cryptocurrency. So, anyways, I think that'll about do it. Hopefully, uh, gave you guys a little bit of a insight into the pros and cons of, you know, staking your cryptocurrency. I think it's going to continue to, you know, grow, and um, we're going to see more people transitioning over. I think it's only smart um, at this point to be generating this this free revenue I mean it's not free you have to invest and you have to take the risk and all that but it's free I mean it really is it's free if you if you are willing to take the risk it's free money so anyways that being said Stella can you say bye or are you just gonna torture the whole video say look at the camera look bye okay <laughs>